Good day to you and welcome to this episode of the Smarter TIBCO Architect Series. I'm Jason Semoliano, Chief TIBCO Architect of Smarter Incorporated. In today's episode, I want to speak to you about the concept of real-time computing. What does it mean when we say that a system is real-time? And what are the benefits of real-time computing? I must admit that when I first heard the term real-time many years ago, it made absolutely no sense to me. So this video is for those of us not so familiar with what this computer lingo really means. Very simply, the term real-time computing means that after an event has occurred, a system or application has to respond to that event within a certain deadline. So suppose system A has an event response deadline of, let's say, 10 seconds. That means that when an event occurs, system A must completely respond to that event in 10 seconds or less. If system A successfully and consistently makes that response within the specified time frame, then we can say that system A is a real-time system. I'd like to drive this point home by giving you an illustration of real-time computing with the use of a few household materials, such as a bottle of water, a bottle of Diet Coke, there you go, and a little bit of menthol candy. Here we go. So very simply, the bottle of water represents a non-real-time system, such as a regular database or a file storage system. The Diet Coke, on the other hand, represents a real-time system. So that means we are expecting this Diet Coke to respond immediately to an event that is about to transpire. The Mentos candy over here represents the event itself. So let's get started. What I'll do first and foremost is I'm going to register a few events into our non-real-time system over here in this bottle of water. So let's take a look and see what happens. I am going to register a few events. They go into the non-real-time system. As you can see, they are successfully stored into the system, but the system is not responding to the event. It is a non-real-time system. Later on, if you want to get the event data out of this system, you can perform something like a database query or look into the file system to see what the event data is. But you cannot expect this non-real-time system to react immediately to the event because it's simply not meant to do that. Let's move on to our real-time system and let's see what happens. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to register some events into our real-time system and let's see what happens. Here we go. Are you ready? Here are the events and they are about to go in to our real-time system. Here we go. That, my friends, is real-time computing. <laughs> While my team members do a little cleanup here, let's talk about the benefits of real-time computing. Why is having a real-time system such a great thing? Well, for a few organizations, it may not be so important, but... For many, many companies, this is absolutely critical. For example, many chief executives will not find it acceptable if they go into the company's reporting system and see only the data from six hours ago. That is simply not acceptable. These executives need to see the exact data that is in the company's many databases the moment they pull up that report from the reporting database system. This was true in a large research company I had worked for in the past as a lead TIBCO consultant. This company needed the reporting system to reflect the data collected by their scientists at real time. 
The moment a scientist enters the data into the research database, the company wanted the data to go into the reporting database system immediately within two minutes or less. That way, the executives who wanted to see the reports can have access to the latest set of scientific data available. Other cases in which real-time computing is critical are the availability of seats in a flight in an airline reservation system or the enemy location for a missile defense system. Can you imagine how horrendous these systems would be if they were not real-time? It's clear that real-time computing is quickly becoming a critical need for businesses that need to have an edge over the competition. I believe that if a company has not yet adopted real-time computing into its IT infrastructure, it leaves itself in danger of getting hurt by a competitor who is already reaping the benefits of real-time computing. But of course, this is not a video about marketing strategy, so let me get back to the main point. Very simply, a real-time system or application is one that responds to an event within a certain specified time frame. In the same way that the Diet Coke that we had here earlier immediately responded to the Mentos candy, a real-time system immediately responds to the occurrences of events for which the system is listening. In future episodes in this series, I will discuss the many software products offered by TIBCO Software, which I feel are very good tools for achieving real-time computing in your enterprise. Until then, let me thank you for watching this episode and this demonstration of the Smarter TIBCO Architect series. I am Jason Samoliano, Chief Typical Architect of Smarter Incorporated. Have a wonderful day. Take care.